Hey everybody, my camera cut out. Um, I'm doing this on my cell phone and it only has limited storage, so it got full. And uh, so you didn't see me finish rubbing everything off, but that's okay because what I want to show you is after one rubbing, you can see there is still paper on there. Okay, there's still a lot of paper on there. But when it's wet, let me get my finger wet. When it's wet, you're not going to see that there's still paper on there. So what you need to do is, um, you know, do your rubbing, let it dry. Then you can see how much paper is still on there. And then wet it again and rub it again. But it's never going beyond just barely any pressure at all. Okay. Um, I think on this one, I had to do it about three times. And now, when I feel it, when I rub my finger over it, it is slick because all I'm feeling is matte medium. In fact, you may can hear it. As opposed to, when you can, you can hear the paper. Um, you can hear it and feel it. So, um, that's one thing is, it's going to take several times of dampening this, let it sit, and then just, just barely 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 rubbing it to get the the last of that paper off okay um as far as putting this in your journal um because i did these on cardboard um just recycled boxes uh i do like doing them on cardboard because i don't have to worry about it falling apart on me so what i did was i just painted a background in my um journal and then I'm just going to put these on here like so. And then I'll decorate the page. And so they are going to actually go in my journal even though they're on cardboard. Um, they're just going to be a little bit different. But I really like this technique. You can do it directly into your journal. And uh, on this one I really could have because this has got... Um, this has got about three or four layers by the time I got through doing this. Uh, this is one of these... Um, these backgrounds that I did for the tutorial uh, for the very first project you know I had I had several of these done so I've recycled them let me see what, what the first one was see if you can see the first one yeah uh, you can see it I've recycled these uh, pages by just painting out just so and over them and and keeping the adding so that I could use these for other things Rather than just having wasted these or having um, a bunch of pages that are exactly the same. So that page, this page, looked exactly like this page um, until I covered it with After Midnight from Dilutions. And this page will become something else. I don't know what. It. It'll become something. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, that is going to be my page and when I actually have it a journal page let me click it down a little bit there we go when it's actually a journal page I will um, I'll post the finished page to the thing but the main thing is let this dry if there's still a white haze on it like this one you still got paper wet it let it sit do it again um, but you're gonna have to let it dry each time so you can see how much paper is still on there but no matter how many times you do it, very, very little pressure. Otherwise, you're going to take off the, the image underneath. All right? So that was a very quick part two, but a very important part two. Because I don't want you to let yours dry and think, man, that's finished. That's not finished. That's finished. All right? So everybody have fun with your image transfers. Um, if you don't have matte medium... Ah, oh, see, I always want to tell you something else you can use. If you don't have matte medium, try Mod Podge. Um, it should work. <sighs> Basically, anything that's kind of got a plasticky feel to it uh, when you get through coating it should should probably work. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you when I was was doing the the front of this one and telling you to do your three coats. 
be really, really careful to not get it on the back. If you get any of the matte medium back here, it's going to seal the paper and you're not going to be able to rub it off. Uh, so be really careful about that. That's one of the reasons that I put my, my drying coats on before I cut it out. Um, that way I'm not working on a very little edge that I may accidentally get it on. The white edges you see here, let me get all the way up, so those little white edges you see, that's where the actual, the matte medium came up over the edge of the paper um, and it actually sealed that paper in. That paper is not going to come up. Um, I'm, I'm just going to deal with that when I, um, when I use my page. But anywhere that matte medium gets on the back of the paper is going to be a problem. So be really careful about that. Alright, I think that is basically it of part two. Um, have fun everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.